Now I have the complete front end on and the lower wishbone in place with the torsion arm, uh, torsion bar, I should say, um, also in place. I wanted to check to make sure that the uh, that the angle on the on the torsion shaft is actually correct in terms of the actual setting. So um, in my manual, go to page J sixteen. And uh, you can see this uh, this bar, um, and you can see the critical dimension is actually 17 and 36, 13 sixteenths, excuse me. Uh, you have to have the right size hole at the top, that's the suspension bolt. And then this is the lower wishbone bolt diameter or shaft diameter. Uh, I'll show you on the car in a minute. Okay, now this is a series one dimension. And the series two dimension is slightly different, 17 and uh, 25, 30 seconds. So I've actually made that bar. And this is what, uh, this is what that looks like. Um, and I have this installed, it's in position. It's a good fit. I've measured it several times. Um, and uh, uh, <clears throat> I also checked the reference dimension that uh, uh, Richard Owen talks about in uh, his uh, document. And from here to here is uh, 20.5 inches. And that actually works out. So I have this set at uh, the right length for my car. And then this check dimension from the top of the picture frame to the tip um, of that ball joint uh, locator is uh, 20 and a half inches. Now, I had a feeling that my torsion bars were, were off. And this is the cor corresponding position. So, you can see that even though I have everything pop marked in the way that it was uh, disassembled, you can see that uh, there's a misalignment, the holes don't line up. So I'm actually going to follow the manual. I have no idea of the history of this car, whether this is uh, the original setting from the factory, um, this car's had uh, quite a long life and been in quite a few wars. I have no idea, right? So um, I, I really don't know. So I'm going to set it up the way that the manual uh, is showing me. Um, now, the splines on the back and on the front have a different number. One is 24, the other end is 25. And that gives you like a vernier type arrangement to get to give you the most accurate uh, uh, position so um, I'm hoping I'm not going to have to play with this too long uh, in order to uh, to get that to line up but um, I am definitely going to go ahead and uh, set this per the gauge uh, the reason for doing this is that you get the right right height <clears throat> and um, I have also bought a uh, a torque reaction plate which goes underneath the engine and connects this side to that side. Um, I bought an adjustable one of those, so I'm going to use this gauge dimension as the uh, as the nominal, and then um, if I need to adjust it, I'm hoping that I can do that on the uh, uh, on the um, on the torque reaction plate. Um, and maybe I'll show an example of uh, of that plate once I have this in position. On the passenger side, you can see that I have uh, the bolts in place now for um, the uh, torsion arm relative to the uh, torque uh, torsion bar. Um, I also got the um, this the driver side completed as well. The driver side was actually correct. Um, 
I'm not sure how close we can get to these marks, but my marks line up on the on this side, but they absolutely do not line up on the uh, on, on the other side. So the other side was off by uh, one tooth, uh, literally just one tooth. I, I didn't really have to mess with the vernier too much. Um, I doubt very much whether I've got the pot marks in the wrong place. But anyway, the lesson learned here is that check. Um, the gauge is not difficult to make and um, is relatively easy to fit. And again, I'm going with a, uh, a reaction plate that um, has the adjustment uh, in that. So even if I'm slightly off now, I, I still have a practical way of uh, adjusting everything in the car uh, just to show that that torsion um, located relative to the subframe is in with the gauge in place and the measurement um, I have from the, the, the actual uh, manual. I'm going to set the camera up now so just to be able to confirm the, uh, uh, the dimension uh, from the top of the picture frame to the tip of the lower wishbone that's in Richard Owen's document. Okay, just to confirm, so the top of the picture frame, which is the very top of, the, of that rail, not the bolt center, to the tip of the lower wishbone suspension, 20.5 inches, and that matches with this gauge that I've uh, created based on the what came out of the manual. So that's a good cross-reference. And clearly this is easier to uh, um, set the wishbone position relative to the tape rather than making a, a, a dedicated gauge. But I'm glad I made the gauge and, uh, and, and I'm just cross-referencing and cross-checking that uh, that number that's stated in the PDF from Richard is spot on. So, um, I'm pleased so I can sleep a little better. Uh, a lot happened to my car um, in its life. So, uh, and I've got no idea who has messed around with it previously. Um, and I'm uh, glad to go back to the very first principles to set this up. Useful exercise.